1955 in Michigan, a 46-day newspaper strike that ran from December 1, 1955, until January 17, 1956, that halted publication of the Detroit News, Detroit Free Press, and Detroit Times. March 3, National Bank of Detroit acquired a city block in downtown Detroit bounded by Woodward, Griswold, Fort, and Congress. The Detroit Free Press called the firing the latest Hubbard dictatorial move. March 21, Jean-Claude Samard, a French-Canadian, was arrested after tightrope walking from Windsor to Detroit on a girder along the Ambassador Bridge. On August 13, the GAW model was adopted and expanded by the United Steel Workers, who negotiated a contract providing a full year of supplementary unemployment benefits for 20,000 steelworkers employed by American Ken Company and 15,000 more employed by Continental Ken Company. July-September a major heat wave struck Michigan during the summer months, and by September 20 Detroit had recorded a record 32 days temperatures exceeding 90 degrees. After the test drive, one of the Russians said, the engineers who produce Cadillacs are going to have some sleepless nights. A Soviet newspaper reported on the delegation's visit to Detroit, residents of Detroit, as in the past, were most hospitable and we were most impressed with what we saw in this dynamic United States city. August 14, the mutilated body of 12-year-old Peter Gorham was found in a swampy area 10 miles north of the Muscogon Boy Scout camp where he was last seen on July 5. August 20, Detroit's first annual Riverama Festival began with a tugboat race, a parade of 800 vessels, and a reenactment of Antoine de la Mother Cadillac's landing at what would become Detroit in 1701. November 14, Detroit Police Commissioner Edwards Piggins said his officers would begin using unmarked cars to patrol Detroit's freeways to control speeding and reckless driving. Hoffa, at age 42, was described at the time as the heir apparent of the Teamsters Union, an iron-fisted, colorful, and violent leader who lets nothing stand in his way. December 1, the Stereotypers Union No. 9 went on strike against Detroit's three major newspapers, the Detroit News, Detroit Free Press, and Detroit Times. 578 Bunny 5 6 